I'm going to be altering this oversized button down shirt that I made because I really like the fabric and would love for it to fit me. I will be using this Bernina 910 sewing machine during the lesson, but any basic sewing machine will do for what you'll be learning. Any of these alterations can be sewn by hand with a needle and thread if need be. My machine is set up with a standard presser foot and a regular point needle, which is suitable for the fabric that I'm working with. I'm using an all-purpose thread and my bobbin is loaded with the same. I've got pins, sharp scissors, a fabric pen, which is disappearing ink with water or heat, and a seam ripper. Not essential, but handy is a ruler. You'll need an iron and either an ironing board or a towel on a flat surface. Totally optional tools to finish raw edges would be a serger or pinking shears. If you don't have either, you can use your sewing machine to sew a zigzag or just leave the edges raw. I like to put on my oversized button down and take a look in the mirror to see where it's ill-fitting. This one is basically huge in the middle, so I'm going to take in the front with two darts and take in the sides. Darts are basically folds or tucks that are sewn into the fabric to create shape. This pocket is right in the way, so we're going to take it off. I like to get settled in my chair with a seam ripper and carefully break the threads around the pocket to remove it without damaging the fabric underneath. You don't want to rush this part. If you rip every other stitch, you should be able to easily pull the back thread in one or two pieces. It will be sewn more densely at the top Okay, now we're ready to fit ourselves for the front darts. To fit yourself for front darts, you can put on your shirt inside out and find the fullest part of your chest. You'll want to place a pin about an inch below that, catching just a tiny bit of fabric. The next part of the dart is marked at the smallest part of your torso, typically just below your rib cage and just above your belly button. You can pinch this as close to your body as you want the seam to be, but keep in mind comfort of movement. I'm going to keep this shirt a bit loose and I'm placing a pin parallel to my body so I can try it on later. I'm following the natural grain of the fabric. You can give it a tug to find that nice straight line. I'll pin where I want the hips of the shirt to hit. Now I'm just repeating on the other side, matching the pin locations. I'm going to lay my shirt down on a flat surface and reposition any pins as needed, keeping the dart nice and straight along the fabric grain. I'm going to repeat on the other side and make sure the darts are the same distance from the center. You'll want to mark the pin locations on both sides of the fabric with a fabric marker or chalk. We're going to need to remove the stitches at the hem of the shirt, otherwise it'll give you a headache later and an uneven hem. I'm going to rip out the hem about an inch or more on either side of my markings. To prep your shirt for sewing darts, I'm moving my pins to be horizontal. You'll be able to sew right over these while keeping the fabric in place. Take out the top pin and if you want, use a ruler to mark your sewing line. I'm going to load up my machine with thread and make sure that my bobbin is loaded with the same. I'm going to set my stitch to be a straight stitch. My machine has two spots to set this, and I'm going to adjust my stitch length to a nice medium setting. Now we're ready to sew the dart, starting at the bottom edge of the fabric. Start off slowly, follow your markings, and keep the fabric nice and taut. 
When you get to the point of the dart, you want to make the last few stitches as close as possible to the fold of the fabric and sew right off the edge. I'm tying off the top of the stitch using a square knot so it stays put. And trimming. You'll want to iron the dart with the extra fabric away from the center of the shirt. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.